Hi, this is Bart Goldenberg. I wanted to take you down a digital transformation journey, and we're going to use a case study from a multinational oil and gas company. This is a company that distributes its product through distributors. The vast majority go through a distribution channel and ultimately to the end customer. The risk is that the end customer's needs change. They're not carefully monitored by the distributor or not passed back to the manufacturer. And the result is there's a disconnect between the manufacturer and what the customer needs and the customer goes elsewhere. So what we did is we formed a task force, um, a digital transformation task force, and we decided that we would leverage digital technology to support the business goals and increase customer loyalty and advocacy, thereby driving product sales and increasing the brand strength and recognition of this well-known company. And in order to make that happen, the first thing we needed was a, a great executive sponsor. And we found one, a great Scotsman that supported the Arsenal Football Club or soccer club in the United Kingdom. And Ian was his name. He was a great believer that if you can create a social media community like the Arsenal community, where fans united, we could get people digitally connected, this would be the way to drive the goals that we just talked about. In addition to that, we decided to build a business-to-business -business private social media community. Why private? Well, there are public communities. You can do those on Facebook, for example, social media community. But unfortunately, this, this company did a lot of business in, um, in, in um, China, and, and Facebook's not allowed the communities in China. So we opted, there's many other reasons, the, the private communities allow you to manage the data, invite your customers, control the dialogue a lot more than a public community. But anyhow, we built this private uh, brand, uh, invitation only brand community. And we had a couple of goals. Let's leverage this company's technology leadership in the product, but now let's leverage that by, by showing our technical leadership in the digital community. Let's build relationship and engage customers and distributors and influencers and strategic partners in a way that would allow us to really expand our knowledge of what was going on in the engineering and, and, and product side so that we could then begin to again build that dialogue between the company and its customers. And last but not least, drive customer loyalty advocacy and ultimately sales by measuring the impact of the community. Well, talking about measuring, we weren't let off the hook. In order to get money for this community, we had to do some very serious metrics. The first one dealt with brand awareness. And the brand awareness side, we measured by the number of signups that people came and signed up for the community. We looked at the visits in terms of how many times did they visit the community. We looked at the page views while they were on the community. All of these an indication of how the health of the, of the community. We looked at user participation. And here we looked at user engagement rates. For example, you know, how often did they engage in various forums or discussion groups or post videos or answer quizzes, etc. We looked at repeat visits. How often did a member of the community come back and visit the community? We also looked at net promoter score, a very well known figure to, to understand better user participation and satisfaction. And the last one we used is no surprise is that of business impact. And we measured two fronts. One was how many of the prospects that came to the community became customers and also were we able to increase product sales as a result of the community. And I'll come back to these metrics a little later on in the presentation, but I want to tell you we had some goals that we had to really accomplish. So we, with the executive support in place, metrics agreed on, we were ready to build our community and off we went. We built a community in multiple languages, English, Spanish, Russian, and other languages. We built it using forums and using Ask the Expert areas and videos and quizzes and all kinds of fun things. And we built that in the ground floor of what was becoming a digital hotel. We called it the lounge, where you could grab a beer, sit down with your fellow engineers and talk shop and share videos and talk about you know, your points of view in the forums, etc. And that worked just fine, but we thought it was important also to get what we called group conference rooms. And those were sitting above the lounge. And those were, for example, distributors talking to distributors or employees talking to employees about a challenging customer. And these were kind of private rooms where within all the legalities, they could talk to each other in a private setting. And that was kind of the second floor. And then above that, we had the private customer rooms. And there's almost a thousand private customer rooms today. And those each customer has their own room. Just like you go to the hotel, you have your key, you click it in, but this is a digital key, of course, and you enter the room. 
and the sales engineer that is attached to you may enter the room, maybe some subject matter experts from the company, and you talk about the business. Maybe you create your annual plan. The form is right in the room digitally. Maybe you review the plan. Maybe you talk about an issue. And when you're through, lo and behold, you exit the room, grab your card, go on downstairs to the lounge, grab a drink, sit with your buddies, talk shop, look at videos, quizzes, forums, etc. In fact, what did we do? We created a digital hotel. And now let's look at the impact of that digital hotel. If we look at the brand awareness objective, we look at three things. Did you get what you need? And both the distributors as well as the customers, 95% overwhelmingly said, yeah, that's a great place and it reinforced the brand. Did you invite customers to join the community? Was it such a, a good thing for you? And the distributor said, heck yes, 50% of them invited new customers to join the community. And we asked the customers, did you recommend our products to other people in your company or elsewhere? And 60% said, yeah, it's a great product. I love the brand and we're going to do it. On the user participation, metric we had two goals and we, we measured them the frequency of visiting the club and as you can see the distributors and the customers 85 percent visited at least monthly and on the distributor side 55 percent visited weekly and even more than 60 percent of the customers visited weekly so we knew we had a lot of people that were quite participating and look at that net promoter score a 70 greater than 75 on the customer side that's unheard of in, in, in net promoter score history. So we knew we were getting the user participation and obviously the most important one, the business impact. We look at those kind of two things. Did we sell more product? And 70% of the distributors said, as a result of belonging to the community, I did sell more product. And we asked the customer, did you buy more product? And greater than 50% of the customers said they bought more product. So we knew we had a winner. But in this type of a global corporation, you gotta make sure you set the right goals, not only for today, but for the future. So let's look at how we now look in the future and leverage what we succeeded in this digital transformation case study and ready ourselves for the future. The first one was to integrate the community with other digital properties, websites, LinkedIn, Facebook, their CRM system, e-commerce platform, uh, online trade publications, distributor incentive programs. And the thinking was we could create this gateway or a single source of information that would allow the engineers and or the distributors to come on to the community and get integration with other parts of this particular corporation. Very important, we use the community now to optimize lead nurturing. So we can actually follow how a best distributor works their way through the digital community. We can do the same thing for a customer. And then we can take a prospect distributor, a prospect customer that joins the community. We can actually digitally trigger them well, they come on and they look at a couple of different screens, we can prompt them and say, you know, customers that have visited these two screens like to visit those two screens. And we guide them through the optimal digital journey to drive their ultimate satisfaction, good customer experience, and becoming a member. So this was a very important source and continues to be for lead nurturing. And third but not least, we decided we'd expand the content of the community through webinars, through tr trade uh, videos, through training materials, and many other areas. In closing, what have we learned? What is it that customer X got right as they went through their digital transformation journey? Well, the first thing is they had a game plan. They had the executive sponsor. They had goals that were set. They knew what they were trying to accomplish. They chose the B2B private community and off to the races they went. They built the digital hotel in bite-sized chunks. First the lounge, then the group rooms, and finally the private rooms. They had strong content. They kept getting feedback from the members of the community as to whether the content was meaningful to them and what would they want to eliminate and what would they want to add. We also had very good monitoring to make sure that as a forum or as a discussion got old or, or people wanted different forums or discussions, we added them or took them away. We kept monitoring the health of the community. And last but not least, we made sure that the community had a customer-centric focus, that we looked at the digital customer journey that we gained insight from the community by listening and monitoring and measuring the community so that we could ultimately drive outstanding customer experience. This has been a great success story and I appreciate you letting me share it with you. Thank you.